Well, this is downtown, or at least the civic center of Willows. And over here is the War Memorial Building, um, where the VFW has its offices and meetings. And my brother Bob is quite active in that, and they are having a flag burning for Flag Day. I never heard of that before, but uh, that's what's happening there with the smoke and uh, the flags on the table. Those are ones that need to be burned because they've been tattered by the wind over the years. So I hope to get some more video of Willows and uh, make this into a little a little show. I'm at the Sacramento River at Butte City, which is not at all a city, but just a crossroads pretty much. I was hoping there would be some uh, paths that I could walk here, but it doesn't look like there's going to be. This is the boat ranch, <laughs> boat launch. <laughs> There is a path, but it's a pretty rough one, and uh, I don't know how far I'll take it, but I'll try it. Butte City is about 10 to 12 miles from Willows, east, southeasterly. And over there is the highway bridge that I came over to get here. There's one other truck with a boat trailer in the parking lot, and that's the only thing here. Well, the path was very short and very weedy, and I want to avoid weeds because there's great danger of Lyme disease from ticks picked up from the grass and the trail really the path really does not go any longer I suppose a kid fishing could make his way out there a few more feet but I'm not going to try it so this is a nice place but too bad there's no way to walk around it On the map, it looks like a park here because it's all green for, oh, maybe five miles up and down the river on both sides. But this is apparently all there is to it. parking lot, as I mentioned, is uh, empty except for my car and that one truck. And right next to the parking lot here is woods that's just grown up in wild grapevines. There was a place like this in the woods near where we played when I was a kid that we called the jungle. <laughs> and sometimes we even found vines that we could cut and uh, swing on from tree to tree. Not from tree to tree, but from the the limbs of the tree off to the ground, off the ground. Not like Tarzan, but a little different. Well, here's another angle on the parking lot a little farther back, and uh, another angle on the, the jungle. <laughs> it has no entrances at all. It's just a wall. Don't see that much in California, but I guess around river banks are a good place for this kind of lush vegetation. And it's pretty hot, so I'm going to get out of here. And over there is a world geographical phenomenon. It's the smallest complete 
mountain range in the world. It's called the Butte Mountains. And I'm looking at it here in Calusa County, just a few miles further south from Butte City. Oh, maybe 10 miles farther. I had to go this far because there were orchards all along the highway, so I couldn't see across for that many miles. But finally, I've come to a field. I have no, what, I have no idea what's uh, growing on this field. It kind of looks like onion top. But I don't smell anything. But even the stalks, now that I'm looking more at the stalks, do look like some kind of plant, like an onion or a garlic or something like that. Well, now there's a even closer look of, at the buttes. Where I was standing taking the previous clip, a young man approached me from the back, from the farm <laughs> just behind me, and suggested that I come out here onto the levee and get the pictures from here. He said it's safe to drive on this levee. And it's kind of narrow. I hope I don't meet anything wide. <laughs> I haven't met anything at all so far. And now I'm going to try to get a close-up of the buttes, or at least the view from the close-up range on my camera. Well, <laughs> I was already in close-up range. I had done that just before that young man approached me and uh, hadn't used it yet. So I wasn't sure if I had finished what I was doing. Over there is the road that I was standing on a few minutes earlier. And here's a canal that is the lifeline of the farms here in the Central Valley. This is the Sacramento Valley, not the San Joaquin Valley. Sacramento Valley is north of Sacramento. San Joaquin is south of Sacramento. And anyway, that's the Butte Mountains. Now I've got to get turned around and get out of here. I had hoped when I was on the levee that there would be views of the river, but there are none. This must be a floodplain, though, that controls flooding from the river sporadically. Well, I continued on the levee for several miles, and now I have come to the river on the side of the levee and the Butte Mountains are directly ahead now. We can't see the southern end of the mountain range, but uh, most of it is in front of us. And I've been looking for a place to cut back, and I think this is the best place I've seen so far. I hate to risk it and end up in somebody's backyard because it looks like there might be a farmhouse over there, and this road might take me to that. Well, I was afraid of this. I've come to a gate, and I've got to turn around, and it's not very wide for turning around. But I don't want to stay on the levee all day. <laughs> <laughs> on the top of that telephone pole is the biggest bird nest I think I've ever seen. And I can see the bird moving on top of it, or one of the birds. And it doesn't, like a, doesn't look like a huge bird, like a... Well, it looks more like the size of a crow, but I suppose it might be something like a hawk or a buzzard. I don't know if buzzards build nests or not. I don't know why they wouldn't. <laughs> what do I know? Well, this is Bidwell River State Park near Hamilton City. And it's hard to see why 
this parking area is even here. <laughs> There's not really a trail here. And here's a very poor path out of one side of that parking area. seem to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going to follow that very far. There were a couple other parking areas like this farther up. So I'll see if there's anything better there. I'm beginning to despair. A trail walk along the park, along the river. Well, this parking area is a little bit uh, more furnished, but I'm not sure if it goes anywhere. Aha! Just back from that little picnic grove, there is a... Whether it goes a mile or more, who knows, but I'll find out. And here's a bench overlooking a branch of the river. Not a very pretty branch. <laughs> well, just a little walk further down, southerly from where I began on the trail. Here's a number five marker, whether it's a mile marker or not, I have no idea at this point. But if it takes me another 20 minutes to a half hour to find another one, I guess that will be an indicator. I hope that's what it is. It could be a, an interest point on some kind of brochure that people pick up. But I didn't see anything like that. This might be the park headquarters. I passed a driveway that was closed, but it had a sign indicating park headquarters. And it had a mobile home in the back. Yes, this is that. And this must be where the trail begins, although it might go on on the other side too. I'll find out. Well, that was a disappointment because the trail does not continue. So this is the beginning point, apparently. I'm back at the five marker, and we'll continue to the end of this trail, unless it goes longer than I expect, much longer than I expect actually. <laughs> if it goes three miles, it's probably more than I expect, but if it goes six or seven, I probably won't go that far. I've already walked a mile now in round trip from my car, so we'll see. This trail is much of the same. I didn't expect it to be very scenic unless there was lots of uh, opening to the river. And I'm assuming that this isn't even the main river, that those trees on the other side there are on an island, and that this is just a side eddy, but I'm not sure of that. But I think the Sacramento is quite a bit bigger than this waterway. This must be a fisherman's ledge with the stairway going down to it. 
but no fishermen today. In fact, my car is the only one in the lot now that I came back and continued northerly. Well, there's a nine marker, so obviously these are not mile milestones. That must be a point of interest. Well, bad news. Just maybe a quarter mile from the parking lot that I'm in, the trail loops back here and presumably takes me back to that same point where I'm parked. And there's a marker for with 11 on it there. <laughs> there was another parking area, so there might be another short trail there too. But altogether, this trail is probably, even with the loop, is no more than a mile, mile and a half total. And this is the end of the trail, but I haven't yet walked the beginning of it. That's where those young people were when I first got here in this parking lot. So I didn't want to seem to be intruding in their space. But now that they're gone, I'll do that part of it too, but I know it's only 100 yards or so long. Yesterday I was reading somewhere, I think online, about elderberries in California. I've never seen in berry form, but every time I see bushes like these, I wonder if they are elderberries. The blossoms are similar, but I thought they blossomed on the elderberries that I knew, hung down instead of pointed up. But maybe they don't start to hang down until the fruit is starting to come in. But anyway, if I broke off a piece and smelled it, I could tell whether it was elderberry or not, but I am not going to risk that because I might get something like poison shumac or something. Well, here's the loop on the trail going back. So I've circled around now. Probably less than two miles, maybe a mile and a half. I've seen some small birds on the river. But these butterflies are the only other thing I've seen. Lots of holes on the trail, like there could be snakes or gophers or both. And looking through the trees there, the river is kind of scenic, but when you get close, all the green growing on it kind of takes away the, the allure. I thought I just heard a splash. Maybe there's something like a beaver down there. Over in the distance, not sure the camera's picking it up at all because going out of the wooded parking lot, the, the uh, light is so bright that uh, I don't think the distant hills show up at all. Anyway, another 15 to 20 miles across the valley is where the Sierra Mountains begin. And also at the end of the valley is Chico, which is the city for this area. It's about 35 miles from Willows and I think only 20 miles left from here, less than that. I don't know if I'm going to go there today or not. There's a big park there, too, with trails that eventually I hope to uh, visit. But it uh, depends what time it is now, whether I'm going to try to see that today at all. I know I won't have time to walk very far if I do get there. 
Well, I'm at the next uh, parking area, and it doesn't appear that there are any trails here either. John Bidwell Sperry. General John Bidwell was born in New York, came to California in 1841, worked at Sutter's Fort in what is modern-day Sacramento, joined the gold rush on the Feather River. And apparently there was a ferry across the river here. My sister-in-law Lois took me across a ferry maybe 35 years ago that was still running in that area I went to yesterday. But it has long since gone out of business. And it was just a ferry that was pulled across the river by ropes. Whether it was by a motor <laughs> or a mule or something, I can't remember now. But I do remember it just being a flat barge. I think we took a vehicle across. I think it was at Princeton, a very tiny village along the river near where I was yesterday. Today, by the way, is Wednesday, June 15th, and it's after 2 p.m., probably before 3 still. I have no idea what this little platform is for. And out of that parking area, there's a little path, but I don't think it's going to be a trail. On the way here from the previous parking lot, there was a business, sort of like a fishing tackle store. And a lot of people gathered around it, including a truck full of truck inner tubes. A lot of young people on the road, uh, so they probably inner tube from there. And since the path here has ended already, I'm going to go back there and see if I can get any pictures there that are worth getting. This looks more like a bar and restaurant than a tackle shop. I've got music here. I'm not sure there's any public access, but there must be, because why would all these people be here if there wasn't? And it says private beach for ramp. Well, at least there's some boats. And over there is what looks like the real Sacramento River. Too bad there's no boats or tubes on the river now at all. That would make a nice picture. I hadn't noticed the sign for the tube rentals going the other direction, but that's about it. Nothing else here. If I were in my 20s, I might spend some time. <laughs>